my YouTube friends, it's me, your old buddy Magnum over here at Magnum Videos. I wanted to present this video to you today to show you what Mrs. Magnum and I created. Um, we've been thinking for quite a while about our new deck and our new pergola, which you've probably seen the videos uh, of the building of that. If you haven't, uh, just look on my videos and you'll find them. There's five of them and then there's one com compilation that has them all together in a Reader's Digest condensed version. Anyway, uh, we wanted to build some kind of cover for it. And uh, I think you might be interested in seeing what we came up with. And we decided to videotape it because there may be a lot of you out there that have a pergola that need a cover and you don't want to spend a you know truckload of money to get one this is a very very inexpensive way to do it so uh, take a look at it and uh, leave a comment uh, leave a question if you have any and uh, I'll be happy to answer them so here we go The deck is finally finished. Uh, if you've watched the five episodes of actually removing the old deck and building the new deck, you know uh, you're up to speed on what we did. But the last thing uh, was painting the pergola, and we finally got that done. And uh, we have one more step involved. The, uh, the pergola is relatively sunny if you go up there to sit. And Mrs. Magnum and I like to eat outside a lot, so we need some shade. So I'm going to show you in this video how to build a relatively inexpensive cover for your pergola. So stick around. Before making a decision on how to cover this pergola, we tossed around several different ideas and we finally came up with the idea that a canvas drop cloth might be uh, an adequate and affordable option. So we went to Home Depot and we purchased an 8 ounce canvas drop cloth and we're having to do some modifications on it so let's go in and see Mrs. Magnum and uh, see what she's doing as far as altering this particular item. Okay, we're in here with Mrs. Magnum, and she is doing some sewing on this uh, canvas. Mrs. Magnum, I'm going to let you explain what you're doing and why you need to do it. We just had a new pergola built, and uh, it was going to cost almost $400 to have a top custom made for it. So we bought a drop cloth that's 12 by 15 and I think it costs 31 or 32 dollars and uh, we had to cut it in half because of the rafter that goes through the pergola and I'm just hemming it because it frays real bad if you if you don't hem Okay, so how did you how did you learn how to do this? I learned how to sew in school, in high school. I went to a very small town high school. There were only 22 people in my class. And wow. I took a a class along with uh my two best girlfriends, Tootsie and Betty, and it was called Home Ec, Home Economics. And our teacher was Mrs. Harold Stahl, and she was a very, very sweet person. She taught us to sew, to crochet, to cook, to clean, to how to, uh, the psychology of getting along in marriage. And that's where I learned to sew. Hmm. Well, I'll have to send Mrs. Stahl a, a thank you letter for teaching you all that because it's uh, you obviously learned it well. And uh, tell me, 
how much more you've got to go here? What? How long till we get this finished? This took me about 30 minutes and I'm on my last six or eight inches here. Okay. And you're having to, you're having to sew this because you, we had to cut it in half because uh -huh. there's the, yeah, the spacers um, down the middle. This type of material, well, there's nothing to show you now. This type of material, canvas, frays real bad if you don't, uh, you know, sew it. Okay. And the side that I just got through seaming is right here and it's all frayed where we cut it last night so you can't leave it like that because the wind would probably whip it out in two or three days. Okay, well we'll let you continue and uh, we'll go on to the next step after you finish. Mrs. Magnum is still in there at the sewing machine working away and uh, we're going to go in there in a minute and I'll have her explain what she is doing. But meanwhile, I went to Lowe's and picked up four eight-foot lath strips. I have cut them so that they are the proper length to span from the house to the spacers in the middle and from the spacers to the far uh, joist on the far end. So we're going to go in there in a minute and Mrs. Magnum will explain what she is doing to finish up the uh, pergola cover. But meanwhile, let me show you what's going on out here. I don't know if you can see that or not. 97 degrees out here. Pretty warm. So we'll go in and see Mrs. Magnum and we'll start installing this in just a little bit. All right, I'm back with Mrs. Magnum at the sewing machine. Tell me, uh, tell us what you're doing at this point. Okay, now then that the hems are on the sides of the uh, fabric so it won't fray, then it has to have a, a rod pocket on each end for the rod or we're going to use um, a piece of lathing to go through it to be hung up and so I'm getting ready to sew the pockets and then they'll be done. Mrs. Magnum has completed the pockets. I have the lath strips cut. We're going to insert these well, we're going to insert one into the first pocket and get this end hung up so that we can start moving it toward the other end and then get it attached as well. So, you might want to stand back because I move pretty fast. Well, as you can see, I got one half of the pergola 
covered. And as you can tell, when it's 97 degrees and old guys uh, move real fast, you get kind of hot and sweaty and maybe even a little bit lightheaded. I kind of had a hallucination that I was inside a Japanese submarine and I could hear the ping, 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 ping. I don't know if it was somebody with a ball peen hammer on a metal pipe or if it was like the engine or something. It was weird. But it, that's when I decided I should stop and uh, just wait till later to do the half that goes over here. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This whole project, uh, counting the nails and the lath strips and the canvas, uh, it was about, let's see, 32, 33, uh, under 50 bucks. It's like 40, 45 bucks or something like that. So I appreciate you watching, as I said. So uh, that's it for now until I speak with you again. And even after that, you stay focused and cool.